Everything is your oyster. Ranjan, what would you like to say to the YouTube audience about this event? It's already been so amazing and it's only been 10 minutes, so I'm going to wait and see what happens. Wow. What would you direct people's attention to? I would first of all read this. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh. The mission statement of... The mission the statement. Evening. Would you read this? It seems kind of long. How about you choose a couple of sentences that you particularly like? I've always collected interesting artifacts from the world around me. The evolving shape of the fallen leaf. An immaculate likeness of a dread... of a dead butterfly. The empty sound of a bone makes wind thrown on the ground. The environment has a plethora of amazing and distilled down to a, to a crisis of not knowing how to hear the quiet voices speaking out all around us. It is a collective, a co-creative perception that thrives in a greater communication of the direct experience. These works are open-ended and they are designed to play on the meaning of myth, metaphor, and memory to evoke the deeper voices in us all. <laughs> nice. Thank you for the introduction. See you on the World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> What would you like to say to the YouTube audience, Neshima Sparks, about this event? Oh my gosh. Um, this is just the beginning. <laughs> That's what I have to say. And um, I have had the honor of seeing these works get created, some of them, and, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful process, and um, there's a lot of heart that goes into these pieces. Mm. Would you point to one of them and tell us about your thoughts and feelings about this one over your shoulder, perhaps? This one? Yes. <sighs> well, just a thing or two. You know, many of these pieces have, well, all of these pieces have stories, and I know many of the stories, and this is one of the ones that I don't know so well, um, mm. but I will say that um, one of the, like, most quiet parts of these mm -hmm. pieces is the poetry that is woven into them. Uh -huh. um, sometimes it just, for me at least, it almost just seems like a, a little visual element, but actually the, the, the poems really do stand alone. And wow. They're, they're really beautiful, and, and the process, I guess one thing I can say about this piece, um, which is true for all of them, yeah. is that um, the words that make up the poem come out of two books, very old books, really? that Steve cuts up, and one of them is um, the history of the Catholic Mass, really? and the other one is 
um, some very old children's science textbook wow. that I don't remember the title of, but they're all like over a hundred year old books wow. um, that Steve has cut to pieces and he just goes through and, and the phrases come out and um, arrange themselves meticulously. Would you read that one for us? Yes. Because it's hard to pick up on the screen. Yes. Shadow of the Eclipse. The world was silent. The moon had vanished. Pale stars alone, hopping fitfully about a slumbering sea. A momentary extinction. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Right. I'm touching your cloth. It's a sacred piece of cloth. You it have is, it. actually, and it's got a story to it. I'm sure. And if you're around for a couple more minutes, I will tell you that story, but I'm right. doing a little documentation. I'm going to kiss you to ready to go. I wish you every happiness. I wish you every happiness. I wish you every happiness. I wish that's not why I would go either. No, would you like to say anything about this event or this artwork for the audience? Not really. Speaks for She's about to leave. Yeah. Say bye. Bye.